Hello everyone, my name is Ivana Mitrovic and it's a great pleasure for me today to present the work of my team and myself also with the title Production of Bioagent for Sustainable Control of Apple Fusarium Road in Storage by Streptomyces Hygroscopicus. These are the members of my team and we all work in University of Novi Sad. Faculty of Technology, Novi Sad, Serbia, in Department of Biotechnology and Pharmaceutical Engineering, except Mila, she works in Faculty of Agriculture, Novi Sad. Well, apple fruit is uh, one of the most important and the most commonly used fruit in the world because adults, children, and baby as well use apple fruit just like a native fruit or, or some kind of apple products like juice, jam, compote, etc. And because of that, the health of apple fruit uh, are very important. Thanks to its long storage capability, apples are the subject of worldwide trade through the year, and the quality storage condition enable them to be sold on the market at the time when they reach their highest price. The apple market is very damaging, so after successful production in the field, Growers have to pay special attention to their storage. And according to definition, healthy apple fruit is a fruit without pathogenic fungi, but also without synthetic pesticides. Right. During storage, transport and marketing as well, uh, apple can be infected by different phytopathogenic fungi, which can cause apple fungal disease. The following phytopathogenic fungi are listed as the most important causative agents of apple fruits wrote in the storage. And all because of that, uh, apple fruits are a very good medium for microorganisms because it's a very, very full of water and the sugar. And the most important of all of these uh, phytopathogenic fungi is the species uh, Fusarium, especially in this work. Uh, and the Fusarium species infect the infection is recognized as white rose or reddish mycelium developing initially in the apple core. And on the apple fruit, it causes light brown wet rose spreading destructively into the surrounding cortex of infected apples. And that was the represent of these two pictures. On the other hand, control of apple fungal uh, disease is performed by synthetic pesticides. Uh, the use of a chemical agent is commonly uh, common in plant protection. However, the intensive use of chemical agent in modern agriculture, including those used to control phytopathogenic fungi, has led uh, to several problems related to environmental pollution and emergence of resistant strain. And this is the most important disadvantages of synthetic pesticides, and that is contamination of crop products with harmful chemical residues, contamination of soil and groundwater, health risk to those who apply agrochemicals, uh, also genetic resistance, and most chemical pesticides are uh, non-specific. Non, uh, uh, because all the above, uh, in the last few years, in the uh, focusing the search of alternative methods that can reduce the use of toxic other chemicals. And one of the options is usage of beneficial microorganisms. So in this study, Streptomyces hygroscopicus uh, isolate from a natural environment, actually soil sample from a territory in the Republic of Serbia, uh, was used as a microorganism antagonist and this was the medium for a grow, uh, which um, uh, contained glucose as a carbon source and soybean meal as a nitrogen source. Uh, so the grow of Streptomyces hygroscopicus and preparing of inoculum was carried out in the rotary shaker on 150 RPM. Temperature was 26 plus minus 1 Celsius degrees and pH of the medium was 7.2. Uh, and the experiment, uh, a production of antifungal metabolites by Streptomyces hygroscopicus, was carried out in 3 liter steroid tank laboratory bioreactor during seven days. This bioreactor was represented in this picture in the slide. 
and fermentation was carried out at 26 Celsius degree with an um, uh, aeration rate of 1.5 and agitation rate of 150 RPM. Uh, for the production of antifungal metabolites in this study, we used glycerol as a carbon source because trichomyces um, are known to have a great potential to use glycerol and some scientists have proven that the addition of pure glycerol, this genus can also uh, grow and produce active metabolites in medium containing waste glycerol. Uh, however, production of biofungicides is an important step uh, to its commerci commercial use, but uh, one of the biggest problems of production and application of biological products is their higher price. Therefore, a considerable interest uh, has been shown in usage of agricultural waste and also by products from food industry uh, as cultivation medium uh, in order to reduce the production and upstream cost. Uh, regarding this fact, pure glycerol, which can use in this study, and potentially use of waste glycerol seems to be a promising uh, component in cultivation media used for production of an uh, active agent by Streptomyces hygroscopic. Uh, the aim of this work was to analyze bioprocess parameter and uh, to exam examine that uh, which stage of bioprocess actually production of antifungal metabolites occurs. Activity of uh, bioagent production was tested every 12 uh, our cultivation and the cultivation um, liquid was centrifuged in 10,000 rpm for 10 minutes and uh, only liquid phase actually supernatant of uh, streptomyces hygroscopicus was used for determination of uh, residual glycerol by um, instrumental method uh, high performance liquid chromatography uh, also residual nitrogen determination using Kjeldal method uh, but also uh, for determination of cell biomass uh, in vitro and in planta antagonistic activity assay was also performed. In vitro antagonistic activity assay. Uh, so we used two uh, isolates of uh, Fusarium arenaceum uh, marked as Ka12 uh, and Ka13 as a test microorganism and um, petri plates uh, with uh, 85 millimeter diameter we use for in vitro testing by Wells technique. Uh, before use, culture liquid of tested microorganism uh, was filtered through the double layer of the sterile cheese cloth. Uh, three wells with the diameter of 15 millimeter represent one treatment and 100 microliters of the test liquid, uh, streptomyces hygroscopicus test liquid, was used in, uh, was added in each well. In control plates, also uh, 100 microliters of sterile distillated water was added to well wells. Uh, in vitro antagonistic activity of the streptomyces hygroscopicus supernatant against two fusarium isolates grow on potato dextrose agar was determined every 12 uh, hour of cultivation in the bioreactor. And after incubation of uh, on 27 Celsius degrees uh, during the 72 hour, uh, we measure inhibition zone diameter, and that was diameter, or, uh, actually zone around uh, wells with no visible mycelial growth. In plant antagonistic activity assay, uh, uh, was performed to confirm uh, antifungal activity on major apple uh, gold delicious uh, fruits of a similar size. So 10 milliliter drop of Streptomyces hygroscopicus supernatant was added to each wound and wound was you know, 4 millimeter diameter and 3 millimeter depth prior to fungal inoculation. And the fungal inoculation was performed by adding a mycelial plug 3 mm diameter of the tested fungal isolate. After incubation in plastic container uh, in temperature, temperature between 21 and 23 Celsius degrees with relative humidity uh, 
97%. Uh, after seven days, the diameter days after the diameter of the velocity uh, necrosis lesion was. Uh, uh, in order to define the course of saturation in the laboratory bioreactor, content of the most important nutrients, and that is carbon and the nitrogen sources during the cultivation were measured. Also, change in dry weight of the cell was monitored as indicator, indicator of uh, the change in the biomass content of the microorganism producer. Uh, the real results are shown in a graph on the left side of the slide. And based on the data obtained in the graph, it can be observed that consumption of glycerol is more intense at the start of bio bio process up to 72 hours. Uh, this indicates that Streptomyces hygroscopicus use uh, this nutrient during the biomass uh, multiplication phase. On the other hand, nitrogen is uh, required by microorganisms both for growth and multiplication, uh, but very often also for the production of the desired metabolites. Results of biomass growth show that exp exponential phase lasts until the third day of an stationary phase of the bioprocess in which the consumption of nutrients is significantly reduced begins. And the, the time course of re uh, residual glycerol content, residual nitrogen content, and cell biomass during seven days of streptomyces hygroscopicus cultivation in bioreactor is represented in this graph of the left side of the slide. In vitro results, uh, graph left represent mean value of mycelial growth inhibition zone diameter of two fusarium and natrium isolates caused by uh, Streptomyces hygroscopicus supernatum during seven days of cultivation on medium containing glycerol. According to fact that inhibition zone diameter over 22 millimeters indicated that the applied antifungal agent is potentially high efficient. From obtained results, it can be concluded uh, that impressive antifungal activity was achieved after the third day of Streptomyces hygroscopicus cultivation under defined condition. However, the highest production of antagonistic agent is achieved in uh, 96 hour cultivation. In this time of cultivation, Streptomyces hygroscopicus supernatum form inhibition zone diameter of Fusarium avanesium Ka12 uh, uh, and Ka13 of 4333 and 4067 millimeter, respectively. And this is represented on this picture uh, on the right side of this slide. In plant results, uh, from this figure, it can be seen that Fusarium avanesium Ka12 isolate was more sensitive to produce antagonistic agent, uh, forming a mean necrosis zone diameter of 7.67 mm, while isolate Fusarium avanesium Ka13 mycelia grow, forming a mean necrosis zone diameter of 667 mm. It can be concluded that necrosis diameter, which were measured on artificially inoculated apple fruit, compared to necrosis diameter measure on control sample, were uh, 2.8 and 2.17 times smaller for isolates Ka12 uh, and Ka13, uh, respectively. Uh, this result showed that uh, there were statistically significant differences between treated and non-treated, actually, control fruits. This indicates that antagonistic agent produced by Streptomyces hygroscopicus in the bioreactor under a well-defined condition on the medium with glycerol show very good suppression of uh, Fusarium avanastium Ka12 and Ka13 mycelial growth. And conclusions. Streptomyces hygroscopicus show great potential as a tool for biological control of Fusarium avanasium isolated from stored apple fruits. Uh, the results show that the highest antifungal activity of Streptomyces hygroscopicus supernatum occurred in uh, 96-hour cultivation under defined condition. 
And under these conditions, streptomyces fibroscopicus supernatant uh, resulted in a greater inhibition zone of 4333 and 4067 millimeter for fusarium avenaceum, KA12 and KA13 isolate, respectively. Uh, also, these results were verified in implanter studies, whereby it was found that necrosis diameter on treated apples were significantly smaller compared to non-treated control apple fruit. Thank you for your attention. The authors gratefully acknowledge the support of Ministry of Education, Science and Technological Development of Republic of Serbia with this project number. Thank you once again.